Hello friends, welcome to another product demo from Silicon Craftsman. Today we're doing things a little bit differently. I came across a really good blog post from Lada Vochka. She summarizes the development of the creator economy on Near and mentions a few projects that I had not seen before. So there is Nifty Comedians, which I actually went and bought my first NFT comedy bit. <laughs> I'll cover that in a different show. There's a couple more, there's Midgate and there is You Mean True, but the one that I focus on for this video is 1 million NFTs. I love it because it is a project that started on Ethereum and it just was too expensive, especially uh, with the cost of gas. So it's just been deployed on Aurora. Aurora is an EVM on Near, and yeah, I think it represents a really good opportunity. So I went to near.1mlnfts.com. Let's see. 1 million NFTs is a smart contract based Web3 platform on Ethereum blockchain, not anymore, with 1 million NFTs and a 10,000 by 10,000 pixels grid. Each 100 pixels is an ERC721 NFT token with its location. Users have an opportunity to buy, sell, rent, and paint them to create any picture with any link and information inside. So it's pretty cool. Now, it has the Ethereum and the ESC721 language because Aurora is literally the Ethereum virtual machine as a smart contract on Near. So here we can see that 1 million NFTs is available on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and Near. Slightly confusing, it's not actually near, it is on Aurora, just to clarify that. When you go to 1 million NFTs, you'll have to log in using MetaMask, MetaMask on the Aurora mainnet. So on the right, we have the board. This is the 1 million pixels. And as you can tell, because they just launched on Aurora, the board is empty. All these pixels are up for sale. So if we go to the marketplace, it shows us the location in the board. Each ring has a different price. So if we zoom in, we can see that one person bought. There's been a few sales right in the middle, which I'm assuming some people want to be in the middle is seen as valuable. Now, just before I bought some land, I made the strategic decision to by just in the outer ring it was cheaper so i could get a larger piece and also i thought you know, sort of like up and to the right it'd be easy to find i don't know if you can see i got that tiny corner there i've got a very cheeky idea for what i'm going to do with that land i'm going to basically plant a flag for near misfits so i can show you how that looks like in a minute now, before we get there, you may be wondering, how do we buy land? So it's very simple. You basically just select the pixels that you want. It will give you, will tell you whether the pixels are free. So we've selected 48 pixels. They're all free and it throws you a price. You can reserve it for half an hour or you can purchase. You'll notice that the price is in the one mil token. That means that you have to get the one mil token from somewhere. We we'll go to the FAQ. How can I get one mil tokens to buy pixel zones on the grid? You can go to Ref Finance to buy the mil token. We very quickly, I've already bought some just before, but I'll just quickly show you. So if you go to Ref, one mil is actually within the tokens. Mine is showing up at the top because I just bought some. But if you just search it, it will come up. It's been whitelisted. So yeah, do a swap or whatever you do to get the one mil tokens. And once they are on your wallet, now remember, Ref Finance is on near native and one million NFTs is on Aurora. That means that we have to send the one mil tokens over the rainbow bridge. I love the rainbow bridge. So once we've got the tokens in our wallet, on our near wallet, we go to rainbowbridge.app. You can see that I've sent some from near to Aurora just earlier today. And we're going to do it all over again. So we click on new transfer. Transfer from, we select the near blockchain. I've already connected my near wallet. Transfer to, we select Aurora. 
you have to be able to log into both wallets on the same browser. So make sure that you're on the browser that has MetaMask. If you have not logged into Aurora, it will automatically prompt you to add the network to MetaMask. It's actually pretty good how it's all done automatically. So then continue. We choose the asset. I've got one mil because I did a transfer just earlier, but if it's not showing up, you simply click show all tokens and do a search for it. It will appear. So we select one mil. It recognizes that we've got 74 one mil tokens in our wallet. Select them all. Continue. So from my near account to my Aurora account, confirm transfer. And it takes seconds. Approve. That's it. Now my one mil tokens have magically been transferred from the near mainnet to the Aurora EVM. Just to confirm, we'll just do a refresh here. We can see that the balance updates to 81.36 mil. Beautiful. So the reason why I had to go and get more mil tokens is because when you go to the editor, you can modify your NFTs. So I am on the editor page here and I uploaded a near misfits logo and I started filling out the information. So I want the title to be near misfits. I uploaded the image. See how it automatically pixelated it for you across all your NFTs. I've got a link to the Paras collection where people can buy, can go and uh, buy some. And I also have a very brief description. Near Misfits, the first fleet of the metaverse. Misfits are the first cryptographically complete series sold on the Near Protocol, December 2021. Remember that when you do blockchain things, it's actually really cool to think that it's going to be there forever. So in two, five, ten years time, some people are going to go back and look at this. We are staking our claim as pioneers of the metaverse, early adopters, builders, tinkerers, and doers. Now remember, this is going to be one of the very first images to go up on this board. And after we put it up, we want to blast this to the world, both to show people how to participate, claim some pixels, and draw your own art, but also promote it heavily within the Near Misfits community, which is very rapidly becoming one of the most active communities in the ecosystem. Now, the only challenge that I had was that I didn't realize that when you upload an image and when you update the information, they also charge you. So I spent all my initial one mil tokens buying the land and I didn't have enough one mil to actually upload the image. So I've uploaded that now. So it's 32 mil for the information update. I guess that's this half and 32 one mil for the actual image. I'm guessing that this pricing also changes depending on the size of the board. So it may be a lot cheaper uh, depending on how much, how many pixels you get. So let's click confirm. I'm going to hope that it works because I left this screen open before I went to top up my wallet. Let's see. So we can see there's a description for the transaction at the top. So we're paying for the information and the colors. Confirm. Your pixels were edited. You've just taken out a new place in NFT history. Yes. Success. So that's pretty exciting. And let's go see how the board looks like now. Whoa, that looks amazing. Let's zoom out a little bit. So it looks pretty funky. Remember, it is a huge board. So we're just going to continue zooming out. It becomes a lot less impressive as you get out. But so we're there. We're a tiny glimpse in the whole thing. For a minute, I thought that was an NFT further on the left. And then I realized it's just some sort of dirt on my screen. <laughs> it. I'll just really quickly check what happens if I click edit my NFT. So if I were, this information can be changed. And what I would like to see, it will charge me for every time that I change it. No interest in changing this anytime soon. These near misfits are going to be here 
in eternity. I'm just wondering, hypothetically, if users wanted to list their pixels for sale, how would that work? Maybe it's not here yet, but my understanding is that you will be able to sell your pixels. So it may be interesting to buy even just a couple to, I guess, buy them while they're cheap or to potentially sell it afterwards. Awesome. That's it for me. If you watch this tutorial, you find it useful and you go to 1 million NFTs on Aurora and draw something on the board, please let me know. I'd love to check it out and let's see how long it takes to fill this board up. Woo! 